the title of my presentation is How English Teacher Education is Understood and Practiced in Brazil. I think it's not easy to give an overview of the Brazilian context because due to the diversity of the Brazilian context and the, the different positions of uh, theoretical positions from different perspectives in Brazil. So the idea of my talk is to, is to give you know, a brief overview of the, the trends and how teacher education is seen in Brazil. So although there are national guidelines, <coughs> national policies for teacher education in Brazil, such as the number of hours our future students are required to attend at university, and the number of hours they are expected to teach during their two last years in their BA courses, the pedagogical orientations and practices vary from context to context. In this presentation, I will highlight my perception related to some aspects on how teacher education is understood and practiced in Brazil. As far as teaching course, we say in Portuguese licenciaturas, such as language, education, math, and some other are concerned. Let me first give an overview of some figures related to the number of students who start and drop out their courses. I found this particularly interesting because here you can see uh, the number of students that drop off their courses in Brazil. And talking about the trends and, uh, and the, the situation of teacher education in Brazil, I think it's also important to show the motivation of these students to attend the courses uh, all over Brazil. As you can see, the number of the students that they give up the, the course is quite high. <coughs> I'm just going to emphasize some of the states, you know, that the researchers are here. And particularly, the state of Mato Grosso do Sul, the number is quite high. 63% of the students, they give up the courses. Although these numbers are not only for English language teachers, but they represent, you know, for all the, the licenciaturas, the, the teaching courses in Brazil. For instance, in Mato Grosso do Sul, the number is 63, minus is the second, 60.8, and then Sao Paulo, almost half of the students, 49.8. Then Sergipe, I think it's better, you know, 37%. Alagoas, 33%. Um, and then the South is a bit similar, and Rio Grande do Sul is quite high as well, 60.4%. So I think this is the interesting figures to see, you know, to talk about the, the situation of language teaching and the situation of the, the courses, you know, uh, there might have some implications related to methodology, it may be uh, related to the aims of the courses, if this, you know, the, the, the courses are attending the students' needs and other sort of things. So I think this number is quite interesting to, for us to, to think about the licenciaturas in general uh, in Brazil. So I would say that several interpretations can be made from this map. One could infer that <clears throat> some teaching courses do not meet students' needs, although the word needs is quite problematic to be defined. Another reason <clears throat> to this student's lack of interest would be the low prestige in relation to educational courses due to the status of being a teacher in Brazil. I think not only in Brazil, but in other countries as well. Presumably they cannot, in Canada, the situation is not so different. So regardless of the causes, these figures can indicate that more debates can be made about how Brazilian teaching courses are understood and practiced. Uh, there are some national policies uh, of the Brazilian education in order to attract more teachers. So in order to extend the offer of teaching courses, the Brazilian Federal Ministry of Education has proposed some initiatives to accredit the in-service teachers as an emergency program, an emergency program called PAFOR, National Plan for Teacher Education, uh, up to year nine. This project is started in 2009 in collaboration with CAPES, local states and cities. The courses focus on the first BA in teaching, the second BA for those who had, who had a certification in other field apart from education, and also on pedagogical qualification. The target audience are in service public school teachers without specific qualification. In 2012, there were 1,920 groups with a total of 
54,000 teachers attending different courses in 397 cities in Brazil. So, the Brazilian policies for teacher education has increased the, the access to higher education. However, one aspect that has to be rethought is the kind of education teachers are expected to have to face the challenge of our current society. Having problematized this issue, I will move on to English language teacher uh, education. Uh, English language teacher education in Brazil has traditionally emphasized linguistics abilities, methods and approaches, some of the aspects Andre has mentioned before, as well as cognitive aspects of language teaching. In this sense, Cummings and Davidson, Davidson point out that all these issues are important to be considered by teacher educators and policy makers. However, they argue that when they are, the technical questions of efficiency are analyzed, isolated from their context, purpose and policies, they have little contribution, contribution once they reduce language teaching to a set of prescription. I'm just going to show you this other slide. I think you are quite familiar with this, this slide here. <laughs> I just added some new here. Uh, this is an interesting image to analyze how English language teaching is maybe is understood and, and practiced in Brazil. So this is, uh, I, I think you are very familiar with this image in Valkyria's talk. And I also borrowed from Fabricio, he also, but he used this for another purpose and I also reinterpret again this for, for this talk here. But I think it's good for you to have an overview of how English, English language teacher education is seen and how English language teaching is taught in Brazil. Uh, most of the main concern, I think, particularly my the, the context that I know, uh, they are more concerned with the practice, with the techniques, and less concerned with the philosophy or the approach. Even some contexts that are more concerned with the approach Maybe some of them they are in the communicative approach and then they know the kind of method and pedagogy related to that and the choices of techniques as well. But I think this is one of the main approaches that the teachers are more clear about their, their, their practice. But, uh, and then we have other documents for the, the, the national um, Orientações Curriculares do Ensino Médio that, that you know, this the document that Valkyria and Le Rimer, uh wrote. Uh, this document presents another view of philosophy of education and then we have uh, pedagogy and practice. So these three are together, it's not something that is separate from the other. But I think that if we analyze uh, from my experience with the students and with my experience with uh, discussing teacher education with some other colleagues in Brazil, most of them they are more concerned with the practice or even the method. And most of these uh, practice or, or tradition, they are from the, the private courses, you know, the private English language courses, and they represent mainstream notion of language, culture, method, education, and so on. Um, so in this sense, the tradition of English language teacher education has followed a view of training, again, uh, Andre has mentioned this before, based on the studies of methods and approaches. Several approaches <coughs> on English language teaching and teacher education, particularly in the 80s and the 90s in Brazil, were developed based on these perspectives. Despite of the number of research and the attempt of the communicative movement in Brazil, very few contributions were made to the Brazilian public schools. This approach, according to Matos and Valeria, has emphasized the cognitive aspect of language and the development of the communicative competence dissociated from the educational purpose. Another focus on English teacher education has relied on the development of teachers' competences. Arguably, this module cannot respond to the complexity of the changes in the contemporary society. The focus on teachers' beliefs has also, uh, has also been influential in teacher education in Brazil. This kind of approach tries to explore the cognitive aspect of language learning through protocols, confirmation of hypotheses, among other aspects. Two other perspectives have been very influential in some parts of Brazil. 
the discursive social interactionist approach, and the critical reflective teaching. The social interactionist approach takes into account genre theory. Researchers from this group have created, have created a concept of didactic sequence, and, and they have provided some guidelines that teachers can follow to plan their lessons. Critical of reflective teaching aims at promoting reflection on the teachers in order to reach the goals that were previously planned in the process of collaboration of a researcher for a critical action. This kind of approach is highly controlled by the researcher. Some of the steps such as describing, informing, confronting, confronting, reconstructing are used in the critical teacher's reflective process. But at the end, the teachers are going to reflect on what the, the research had previously planned, you know? They can be critical, but according to the researcher. But this is, just, this is one perspective, you know? It depends on the, the view of the researcher as well. Another trend has increased in English teacher education. Uh, refers to those who are in favor of a more critical linguistic education, such as Montemor, Menezes de Souza, Bojo, among others. It to take into account some new uh, digital epistemologies, critical philosophy of language, post-structural view of language, among others. Furthermore, <laughs> the critical aspect has also explored has also been explored by our discourse analysts, both from French school of discourse analysis and critical discourse analysis. Despite several theoretical orientations in teacher education in Brazil, Paiva points out that the limitation in relation to pre-service education and the lack of specific modules in the BA programs regarding to teacher education, as well as the lack of resources resource on courses de letras and language courses. These are one of the, the, the limitations and the problems. Cummings and Davidson, for instance, have criticized that teacher education and language teaching programs that overemphasize the use of theories. These authors point out that there are very few researches which focus on the role of theory in the mediation, the relationship between policy and practice. They say that it is very common to hear discourse of proposal introduced to teachers as only theories. This view represents a misunderstanding about the role of the theories about the facts. In this sense, Gritzman's call attention to the fact that theorizing represents an, uh, orientations to teachers and requires an understanding not only of the school systems and ability to, to teach, but also it contributes to strength teachers' theoretical identities. Theory has to function not only to raise questions that is happening in the classroom in a more restricted way, but it, also, it is also important to investigate the interaction in the classrooms. In this sense, comes in day and Davidson point out that there is a two-way road between theory and practice. Practice makes practice, and it also acts as a new way to find other direct directions to make and for, and for theory in, in a dialogue dialogical relationship. Practice inform, informs theory and theory informs practice. In this perspective, I have worked with teacher education particularly interested in the concept of teachers as policy makers. I have proposed to teachers to deal with theory and practice through official documents. In a three-year collaborative work, teachers reinterpreted two official documents, my state's document and federal guidelines for the high school segment. This work has contributed to teachers to rethink their theories and reinterpret them to their local context in a more critical orientation. I had also the opportunity to rethink my own theories about the role of teacher education. So my intention with this brief talk was briefly highlight my view of English, uh, English teacher education in Brazil. And I would argue that more research on teacher education particularly new proposals for public schools that do not follow mainstream models are required. Thank you.